Although I should probably should try and make a point of using that spell on something a little more powerful, like these imps, for example. Just need one of them to stay still for a minute while I can... Blue imps, by the way? Seriously, is that... That must be new. That must be modded somehow. Whatever, let's... Uh... See if we can get a bit closer. They are definitely blocking my path now, so I'd have to fight them either way. Oh, come on! Son of a bitch. Fine. Is he... Is that damaging him? At Ow! At all? Ow! Blimey. Give me a break, guys. Uh, fine. Eat that. Oh, you did not like that, did you? Ha <laughs> ha! Powerful magic spells for the win, although I did lose about half my magic at just trying to do that, so... Uh, yeah. These potions of mine, even though I have a shite ton of them, as you can tell, are probably going to not last very long at all. But, yeah, what the hell are these? Guardian imps. And they're blue. I've never seen those before. This must be some sort of monster mod edition. I'm going to be playing blind through a lot of all this modded content, by the way. I must admit, I've not really played uh, a, a Oblivion modded quite this extensively before, so a lot of this is going to be completely new to me. I've played, I mean, I've watched Let's Plays by other people, certainly. Your money or your life. Um, with highly modded games, but I've never actually played it for myself, so, you know, this is new. Pay 100 gold or no, take it from me if you can. Uh, this is a probably an example of where Idris's headstrong nature uh, combined with his own overconfidence and his own magical powers is probably going to result in him not doing the sensible thing and paying him 100 gold and saying, no, take it from you if you, me if you can, and basically picking a fight with this guy. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing, I think. Take it from me if you can. Actually... That's the way this one prefers it. Oh boy. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Zap! Zap! Ooh, nice. Two hitted. Quite pleased about that. We no longer completely suck at combat because I finally bought some decent spells. Right. Have a look. Did he? Oh, we had 25 gold, I suppose. And a lockpick. Why did I pick up the lockpick? I don't want lockpicks. I can't use lockpicks. Go away. There. Uh, <laughs> I'll take those, though. I imagine the, um, the onion. They unfortunately probably belong to someone, but uh, that someone is most likely dead or no longer really cares about them. So, uh, never mind. We'll just have to ignore that little indiscretion there and take what we can get, finders, keepers and all that. We need the money, so let's head out on this road here. I really don't... I, I, I do like this particular bit of road, actually. Um, obviously, I mean, I've probably been down here before at some point in the long time I've played Oblivion, but, you know, it's... Uh, oh. Slightly funky bit of distant terrain up there, being a bit strange. But there we are, it's fixed now. Um, yeah, it's a long time since I've really sat down and played Oblivion properly, so, you know, while this isn't blind, certainly, I've kind of forgotten quite a good deal of this. Odile Farm. Hmm. And obviously now it a lot of it looks very, very different because of all the mods I've got installed and such, and... Uh, ooh. I don't remember this. What is this? What is going on here? What's that down there? Oh, it's a shrine off between the trees I can see over there. What is this? And who are you? It's you. Hi. It's you. What do you mean it's me? One of the afternoon watch and all's well. I hope I see you well, sir. Uh, yes, same to you. I'm not entirely sure. I hope you. I see you well. See. Means? But there you are. Also, he's a bit of an ugly bastard, isn't he? Watchtower. And he is a coral constable. Ooh, cool. I see. So he's like a woodsman type guy or something. Or a policeman, I don't know. This is new. 
Oh wow, well, look, it's good. I've actually got like a curb thing on the side of the the road. It's interesting. Wayne and Priory. Very nice, but no reason to go in there. None at all. Wow, I, I think I do like... I don't know whether this is a unique landscapes or better cities precisely that's changed all of this stuff, but I love it. Either way. Um, where's this little pathway go? Up here. Oh, it keeps on going that way, and uh, what's this? Oh, just some sort of ruined tower thing. The stable's over there, and a mountain looming over that way. It's all pretty picturesque. I know I should really just head on into the city, but I can't help but want to explore, you know? Uh, stuff everywhere. A gate, which... Yeah. I was thinking maybe there'd be a path leading off into the forest somewhere, but no. Doesn't look like it. I'm not entirely sure what this whole thing with this wall here is going all the way around this little area here, but I suppose it's kind of cool. I suppose it's to warn, ward off like wildlife and such, like the wolves. There doesn't appear to be anyone guarding it, mind you. Which seems to kind of a little, a little bit defeat the point of it, but whatever. Oh, what is this? Like an a oh, cool! It's an actual field with like a hedge around it and stuff. No animals living in it, but um, still. Yeah, that was one thing I noticed in uh, Oblivion. Like the whole place was conspicuously lacking in farmland. Um, you know, and for that matter, I think it was a bit strange in a lot of the placement of the cities. And by that, but by that, what I mean is, um, like coral, there's kind of almost no. There doesn't seem to be any serious point to the the whole place existing, if you know what I mean. Like this here, this is a river, right? But it's a modded river, and there's not very, not a lot of. Wow, I do like this, by the way. Um, but there aren't a lot of. What the hell? Okay. What's going on here? <laughs> I'll have to put that discussion on hold, I'm afraid. What's. Whoa! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! He electrocuted someone I didn't mean to then. Windy Miller! Come back, Windy Miller, you're safe! Whoa, what the devil? Maybe he's not safe, I haven't quite managed to. <laughs> Ow! This lady strikes hard. What is she, a barbarian? She's a dead barbarian now. What the hell's going on here? And where did that constable run off to? What the hell are these guys? I was just saying about that. They've got this little wall up so it's all nice and secure. And, like, the town's getting fucking raided by barbarians, apparently. Well, I never. Um, <laughs> cool, I suppose. Still, what the bloody hell happened here, and... Windy Miller? Windy Miller? A reference to Camberwick Green in Oblivion? Well, I never. What will they think of next? Um... <laughs> I imagine not a lot of my viewers will, uh... Get that reference. But, whoa, okay, there's more. Love that. No, I know I'm on your side, sorry. Um, it's potion time, definitely. Uh, oh, I have, a, I have two of those freaking name potions again. That's annoying, that little bug. Alright, what have we got? One of those, and... One of those. Uh, maybe one more. Maybe more than one of those. Let's have a look at our spells. Ah! That'll do. Since the bugger seems to be intent on running away, I'll head him off at the pass, guys. Let's see if I can burden the bugger. Come here, you. Run away. 
Ha! You're stuck, aren't you? Well, he's slowed down at least. Finish him off then, guards. Oh, come on, you... You constables have got to be the most... ineffective law enforcement I have ever seen. Fine. There. Did your job for you. And not even a thanks either. Look at that. Jeez. <sighs> well, um... Thanks for the uh, pelts, though, Mr. Barbarian. The hell's with these guys, then? Raiding the city outskirts. Well, those constables were clearly no match for them. And they killed the bloody Miller in the process. Goodness me. What is Cyrodiil coming to? So, we've uh, we set out for... Out set foot outside the Imperial City for the first time. We come to the first city we've actually walked to properly as opposed to coming by boat and uh, we've already managed to get ourselves into a fight with random barbarians trying to attack Coral. Um, off to a good start, eh, Idris? What is the point in these two bridges? I don't understand. Oh, anyway. Never mind. I'll enjoy the scenery a bit. Oh, that reminds me, as I was saying earlier, like, there's not a lot of rivers in Cyrodiil for some reason. I mean, there's a few. But, like, a lot of... Oh, pillage mine, eh? We're quite close to a dungeon, I suppose. That might be why they appeared, those barbarians. But, um... I'll leave you guys to clear up the mess left in there. Etherbridge... Eth... Etherbridge... Mill. Oh, I guess this is where the miller worked. And now he is dead. So what will become of the mill? I can only wonder. Oh, wow. It actually has a grindstone and stuff. That's pretty neat, actually. I shouldn't really be poking around in here, I suppose. But, um... Yeah, this is pretty neat, this is. I approve. What will the town of Coral do now with its miller dead and killed by barbarians? Who knows? And who cares? <laughs> At the same time, I think, really. Um, still loving all this modded stuff, I must admit. Even though we've gone completely the wrong way. Um... <laughs> bit of an epic tangent that was. But anyway, yeah, as I was saying, before I was interrupted, like, twice, um, the settlements in Serial don't seem to have a lot of point to them quite a bit of the time. Like, um, I mean, for instance, by, by this I kind of mean, like, Anvil makes sense. It's a port town. There's lots of trade coming in from this side of Tamriel and such. So there's obviously going to be a town there that will have grown up around the Seaport and stuff like that. Same kind of deal with Leowin. Um, Breville, okay, it's kind of situated near, next to a river or bay, whatever. Um, so that kind of makes sense as well. It's also on the border with elsewhere or whatever. Um, Shaden Hall, on the other hand, what is the point of Shaden Hall? There's no river nearby. Well, there's this one, but it's not, I wouldn't call that nearby at all. Um, like, it's not really a trade route. You, you could say it was on a border with Morrowind, but it's not next to any particular pass leading into Morrowind, is it? It's just, just impassable mountains across this entire area bit. Area here, like, the, even says on the map, the Valas Mountains here. So there's no point in Chaden Hall existing. You know, um, Bruma, again, pff, what's the point in it, you know? As far as I know, the main pass into Skyrim, actually, is over here, somewhere. If I recall from actually playing Skyrim. Um... You know, Coral again, what's the point in Coral? Um, although that said, I think Coral might be a mining town, so I suppose that kind of makes sense. Skingrad, again, what is the point in Skingrad? I guess maybe it might have grown up around the original castle, considering that's like outside the walls up on a hill. It's kind of a Mott and Bailey setup, perhaps. I don't know. Kvatch, again, what's the point in Kvatch? You know, I just think it's a little odd. Like most of the towns in Skyrim, on the other hand, they actually seem to have a reason for being there, if you know what I mean. 